Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in today's video, we're going to talk a bit about freeform modeling for injection molding. Uh, so we've just released a course on this on learneverythingaboutdesign.com. I'll leave a link in the description. But in that course, we talk about using freeform modeling to design a shape, and we want the shape to be injection molded. So we're going to use a technique that allows us to keep the intersection between two solid bodies. So a couple of key things that are important to understand. Uh, in freeform modeling, we can use the thickened tool to create a solid or a thickened version of our freeform model that will convert to a solid when we finish our form. We can also use freeform modeling for a thin surface. And there are benefits to doing each of these. Now, one of the main benefits to using our thicken inside of our freeform model is it gives us direct control over the inside and the outside of that freeform body. So if, for example, you needed the freeform body itself to have draft, you could turn on your draft analysis and you could then figure out areas where you may or may not need to add more draft. So for example, let's go ahead and just set this to be pulled in this direction. And let's say that we want positive and negative two degrees. We'll say, okay, go to our analysis folder and we can see areas on the side that are going green and red. The red areas are areas that don't have enough draft. So this means that we could take this entire edge and we could start to move it in slightly until we had enough draft in those areas. Now the color change happens based on things like the tolerance zone and whether or not we actually have two degrees or one and a half degrees, for example. But this is a great way that we can use these tools to ensure that our freeform body has enough draft. But when we finish using an overbuild technique, so that way we have a solid body, is another great way that we can do this. So we can take a simple profile. In this case, we've got this profile here. We're going to drag it through. We're going to apply the amount of draft that we want, whether it's positive or negative. In this case, let's say minus three degrees. And instead of using the cut, we're going to use intersect. This is going to keep only the overlapping sections between the two. One thing that you might need to do, depending on where your profiles are, is increase or decrease where the profile starts and increase or decrease the distance to make sure that you are getting everything. But at the end of this, when we say OK and we go back to our analysis, we can see that we've got green all around the edges, which means that we've got an appropriate amount of draft for the shape. Now, this is one of the challenges that we run into when using freeform modeling for injection molded parts is precise control over that draft. So it's a great idea to be able to use freeform as sort of a larger shape or a template when we have things like these thin walled parts, and then use the technique of extruding and keeping only the intersected portions between multiple solid bodies. Now, if you want to see more of this, I do suggest you check out our course. You can go to the link in the description and follow along. Or if you want to try this technique on your own, play around with creating some complex freeform shapes and then try to extrude a simple shape through it and see if you can apply the draft you need. That's a great technique and it works well for thin wall parts. These are things like, in this case, uh, motocross handguard, fenders, and those types of parts that are just simply a consistent thickness all the way around. It doesn't work great for other types of shapes that are more of an enclosure, things like game controllers. Those don't really work well with this technique. But play around with it yourself, ask questions, and see if it can work for you. Now, if you have any questions on this, please leave a comment and let me know. If you want to check out the course, I'll put a description in the video, and you can check that out on learneverythingaboutdesign.com. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.